Wallahi, start preparing for Ramadan by doing what? Right now, say, Oh Allah, Oh Allah, forgive my shortcomings. I am weak. I'm a human. I've done things that are wrong. I, I know there is a sin. I'm trying to quit. Oh Allah, help me to quit it. I want to quit it. Strengthen me. Help keep me away from it. Oh Allah, I need to get this done for your sake. Strengthen me so that I can do it for you. Oh Allah, I don't want to do it for someone. I want to do it for you. Oh Allah, strengthen me. Help me. Guide me. Pray every day and be serious about it Allah will change your life ولا تحسبن الله غافلا عما يعمل الظالمون إنما يوخرهم ليوم تشخص في الأبصار مهطعين مقنعين لا يرتد إليهم طرفهم وأفيدتهم معا وأنذر الناس يوم يأتيهم العذاب فيقول الذين ظلموا فيقول الذين ظلموا ربنا أَلَمْ تَكُونُوا وَقَسَمْتُمْ مِنْ قَبْلُ مَا لَكُمْ مِنْ زَوَالِ وَسَكَنْتُمْ فِي مَسَاكِنِ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ وَتَبَيَّنَ لَكُمْ وَتَبَيَّنَ لَكُمْ كَيْفَ فَعَلْنَا بِهِمْ وَضَرَبْنَا لَكُمْ الْأَمْثَالِ وَقَدْ مَكَرُوا مَكَرَهُمْ وَعِنْدَ اللَّهِ مَكَرُوهُمْ وَإِنْ كَانَ مَكَرُوهُمْ لِتَزُولَ مِنْهُ الْجِبَالِ فَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ اللَّهَ إن الله عزيز ذو تقاء الرجال قوام على النساء It says that men actually they stand up for women How is he going to stand up? He has a responsibility to protect her. He has a responsibility. He has a responsibility to maintain her and make sure that she's well taken care of. Well, then when it says one has more than the other, which, which one? How is this working? Why is he responsible for the protection and the maintenance? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he was developing, when a baby girl was developing her womb, he was developing muscular structure. So therefore, his muscular structure and his body has the responsibility to stand up and protect women and to use his strength to maintain her what does she have that he must maintain her when we go back to when we tie these ayat to the Prophet وسلم, when he says the womb of the woman is connected to the arsh of Allah to the throne of Allah what is the arsh what is the throne it is the seat of majesty it is the seat of the unseen that when the unseen then is commanded and descends into the earth. This is by far my favorite scientific <clears throat> phenomenon in the entire Quran. This one humbles me every time I think about it. So this is about orbiting celestial bodies. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَهُوَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ وَالشَّمْسَ وَالْقَمَرِ كُلٌّ فِي فَلَكِ يَسْبَحُونَ 
Allah says, and He is the one who created the day and the night. He is the one that created the sun and the moon, each one traveling in an orbit. Now, I want to ask you guys a question. Who knows what a palindrome is? It's a word or a number that is the same spelt backwards as it is forwards. Who can give me a palindrome? Anna, A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. That's a palindrome. It's the same spelt backwards and forwards. Race car is the same spelt forwards as it is backwards. So these are just words that you've given me. Can you think of a sentence that is in a palindrome? My point is that it's very difficult. You're going to struggle to find a sentence that is a palindrome. And if you find one, I guarantee it's not going to have good meaning. The meaning is going to be gibberish. You can get any random word, put it together, it'll be a palindrome. But is it going to have meaning? No, it's not. Now, I want you to look at the last four words. Every celestial body is in orbit. We're going to split these three words letter by letter. What's the first letter? Next letter. Next letter. Next one. Next one. Next one. Okay, watch this. What did we say about the meaning of this word? Every celestial body is in what? Is in orbit. Just like the letters are orbiting the middle. In this palindrome. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الرحمن علم القرآن خلق الإنسان علمه البيان الشمس والقمر بحسبان والنجم والشجر يسجدان والسماء رفعها ووضع الميزان ألا تطغوا في الميزان وأقيموا الوزن بالقسط ولا تخسروا الميزان والأرض وضعها للأنام فيها فاكهة والنخل ذات الأكمام والحب ذو العصف والريحان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان خلق الإنسان من صلصال كالفخار وخلق الجان من مارج من نار فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان رب المشرقين ورب المغربين فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان مرج البحرين يلتقيان بينهما برزخ لا يبغيان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان يخرج منهما اللؤلؤ والمرجان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان وله الجوار المنشآت في البحر كالأعلام فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان Do you know about the importance of these two movements in Salah? The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Verily when a servant stands to pray his sins are placed on top of his head and shoulders that every time he bows or prostrates they fall away from him this is such an immense reward from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may this encourage you to fulfill all your obligatory prayers and share this with a friend so that we all may benefit so guys, what says, just drink the poison get a date it should help you <laughs> If you're Muslim, you have to know about these four things that you thought were halal but are actually haram. Make sure to share this to spread the awareness to help your brothers and sisters out. Number one, vaping. As a majority of scholars agree that vaping is impermissible. Number two, saying OMFG as it curses Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name. Number three, saying Alhamdulillah after burping. As many scholars say, if you burp and say Alhamdulillah after because you think it's mandatory, it is a bid'ah and it is impermissible. And number four, ramen noodles. As many ramen noodles, even the vegetable ones, contain pork stock or animal fat. So always check the ingredients before buying. And as always, inshallah, I'll see you in Jannah.